Uh, but anyway, without further ado, they said uh, Sager uh, pissed pissed me off, kind of right. It, it fucking irritated me the way that he went on and and sort of dragged the root, uh, which is one of the few um, you know black issue uh, publications. Uh, for people who aren't familiar with the root, they're they have the blacker the content, the sweeter the truth is their little uh, headline, obviously in a, a reference to Kendrick Lamar's uh, legendary uh, 2015 release. Uh, to pimp a butterfly uh, if there's been a better piece of art ever created i haven't consumed it um so uh but anyway that's an aside i ever, ever uh if you've listened to the pod I, I i fucking love kendrick lamar i think he's by far the, the bob dylan of our generation the poet of our time uh all those compliments and more uh but anyway um this was what sagar had to say uh about a very fucking obvious point that the root made so uh let's just hear this out New domestic terror law i saw an article in the root and look i know it's the root and it's like you know the critical race theory blah 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 but oh yeah critical race they're theory. they're writing an article saying if these people were in iraq we would have hit them they're talking about Pause. as if they would have what the fuck that's so obvious if these people were in iraq we would have hit them no we would have killed them we would have shot them to fucking death which i'm pretty sure is what he was implying obviously that would have happened this is ridiculous what are you saying? Also, one, like, why take a cheap shot at critical race theory? Like, that one, I, I, I want to say that aside. Right wingers Two, all the time, dude. That's like one of the right wingers love to bring up critical race theory and like mock it and shit. <laughs> it's, yeah, fucking irritated me for one. Two, you didn't even bring anything to back. Like, you brought the worst fucking argument. You made something that's so obvious. Like, yeah, water's blue. The sky, it, like, you know what I mean? Like, fucking. Yeah. Uh, grass is green, dude. Hmm. Anyway, have been killed by the U.S. military, um, but with a drone strike, they're like, we would have slaughtered them like just outright insanity, which is being printed right there. I mean, this is a outright insanity. You mean that's going on every single fucking day in the Middle East, perpetuated by the United States government? It's so crassly. That might be actually true, but yeah. not something to be celebrated. Yeah, or I'm like, like that's yeah. the thing is when. I don't really understand Crystal's response either because she's like, Dude, that was the really... worst shit. Like, I'm trying to get out of this and I don't want to have a conflict. Yeah. That was, I'm sorry. She... I like Crystal, but that, I mean, and I get that's the balance of their show. Uh, she was trying to be nice, but I, I would have hammered Sagar. I can't, I couldn't have a show with Sagar. Well, yeah. That would and be that's, like... that's the problem too. And I kind of feel bad because they're on like a time schedule. They have to get to the next story at a certain time. She can't just like argue with him whenever yeah. she wants. So obviously, I'm not like, you know, trying to give her any shit, but I, I do mm -hmm. think that was weird because it's not like, they were celebrating that fact. They were just acknowledging it was a fact. If that had happened in Iraq, some insurgents or whatever, like stormed a military base that was ours, the American base, uh, there would absolutely be fatal consequences. They would absolutely be droned or, or, or gunned down by some, you know, machine gun or, or whatever. Like um, it's, it's insanity to think otherwise. And honestly, if, if these protesters had been black lives matter protesters or really a leftist, you know, anti-war protesters, really any sort of a leftist, uh, movement, I think there's a really good chance, uh, a really good case to be made uh, that they would have been met with vicious, vicious violence and not just uh, vicious force, but um, you know, the, the, the government would have no, would have already known it was coming um, because they've, you know, infiltrated these groups. They have informants, you know, in black lives matter and uh, they have their, you know, moles and their spies and in, in these various leftist organizations. And also they're surveilling them, you know, tapping their phones and, you know, internet and, um, Facebook groups, all this stuff. So uh, they're actually monitoring these leftist organizations as if they're terrorist groups, but they're completely ignore um, uh, as a general rule. I mean, not entirely, but a lot of times they completely ignore the right wing, uh, you know, actual um, domestic terrorist threats. Uh, again, while they focus on BLM and, um, you know, BDS and, uh, you know, spy on, um, you know, Muslim, uh, you know, worshiping places, uh, you know, so it, it's, Moss. it's, so I, yeah, Moss, sorry. But yeah, it's, it's ironic uh, for that reason too. And, uh, well, just, to compare totally... it, just compare it at all with the, uh, uh, like the absolutely peaceful protest for black lives matter, right? O overwhelmingly <laughs> peaceful, right? I was there with my own fucking, I, like I was, Gavin and I were both in Ca Kansas city's protests. So obviously we saw them with our own fucking eyes. You know, they were peaceful <laughs> protests. No. And, and, and yet they were greeted with the, this harsh, militaristic response that surpassed already uh what many of the protesters experienced once they'd already stormed the capital right you know we made the fucking observation it looked more like a rage against the machine concert than an insurrection right the fucking 
cops were just like fucking moshing around like, oh man, oh man, this is exciting. Other white people, I don't have to be alarmed, right? Like we're in on this together, brother. You know, whatever the fuck that they were saying to each other in the fucking place, right? Ugh. Taking selfies and taking selfies and shit. With yeah. the cops, the fucking pig fuckers. Yeah, it's so <laughs> obviously. I mean, I'm just like, oh, dude. And yeah. that to, it's to, to just laugh that off or to like, you know, like it's so obvious. It's such a bad point. Like this is a total belly flop. And and yeah, I don't, I don't right. understand. Like obviously, the root wasn't celebrating that. Like Crystal, yeah. like obviously, they were writing about that as a tragedy of modern times. And which is why we need shit like critical race theory, Sagar, so that we can heal this deeply wounded society. Um, but it, anyway. Yeah. And again, like, sure, I'm sure that The Root has published uh, some cringy takes, maybe something that was like overly wokest or, or like, you know, something that maybe would warrant criticism or mockery. This is not, you know, that story. This is a very clear point that I think is extremely obvious. Yeah.